Good day everyone. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to tackle about the equation of the circle with center at HK. HK refers to the coordinates of the center. So let's start let's start our discussion now. So imagine this circle. So so this circle has a center at 0, 0. And it has a radius of 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units. Now, we can easily write the equation of the circle based on our previous lesson. So, all we need to do is to write x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, which is 4 squared, that is 16. So, this is now our, our equation of the circle. But what if I move the circle and the center, the circle and its center is on 1, 2? Still, we have the same the same radius, but we have a different center. So what will be this the equation of this circle? Now let's try to analyze it. So imagine that this is your circle and your center is at HK. HK is the coordinate of the center. I don't know or we don't really know exactly what's the, the coordinate of this. It could be 1, 1, 2, 2, or any coordinates of the circle. And we have a point on the circle as well. So this coordinate is x, comma y. So that's any other coordinate as well. So now to get the radius of this, we need to do the distance formula. We need to substitute all the given that we have. So the distance that we're going to get is the radius. So x sub 2 is x minus h, x sub 1. Then y sub 2 is y minus k. So let's square both sides so that we could eliminate the radical symbol. So this will be our new circle equation with the center at hk. So that's the standard form of it. Now let's try to answer problem that involves this. That involves this. So find the equation of the circle whose center is at 3, comma, negative 2 and radius of 3 units. Again, let's write the given, the center, 3, comma, negative 2 and the radius of 3 units. Now, let's write the first the equation of the circle, our formula. Then let's substitute the center to x and y, uh, to h and k. So again, this is negative, so it is ideal to put that inside the parentheses so that you will not be, be confused on the sign. So r for 3, because that's the, the radius. So let's simplify it further. So this will stay the same. So y minus negative 2, that would become y plus 2. And 3 squared is 9. So this is now our circle equation. Okay? So now let's go to another problem. So find the equation of the circle whose center at 4, 3 and with a radius of 5 units. Same method, like the center, 4, 3 and radius is equal to 5 units. Then write the circle equation formula. Substitute 4, 3 to h and k, and r and 5 to r. Then simplify it further. Then this will be now our circle equation. With the center at 4, 3, and radius of 5 units. Now, this one is kind of different, different kind of question. Find the equation of the circle whose center at 3, comma, negative 2 and passes through point 9, comma, 6. As you can see, there is no radius, but but there is a certain point that where the circle would pass. So imagine this is the Cartesian plane. This is the center. And 9, comma, 6 is here. So meaning, to get the radius, we need to find the distance between these two points. So we'll be just using the circle equation and substitute all the givens that we have. So this one, I substitute the center, as you can see. And now I will try to substitute the point on the circle. So if we simplify it further, 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So if we square that, 36 plus 64, and that is 100. 100 squared is the radius squared, so we need to square both sides so that we could get the radius of 10 units. So now we could write the, the equation of the circle. We just need to add 100 here or 10 on R so that we could, could get 100. Now let's let's have a, a different example. 
Now, given the circle equation, let's find the center in the radius. Let's go with number 1 first. Now, to, to find this, we know that the formula of the circle is like this. So, we need to change this one into this one. Remember that it should be x minus and y minus. So, if you change this, this will be x minus negative 6. So, that's how we use that. Plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 10 squared. So, that's how we get into this form. Or, we could just easily compare them. And we could say that h is equal to negative 6, the, the inverse of this one. I, should, I don't know if that's the correct term. Because if a negative h is equal to positive 6, then h is equal to negative 6. Then this one, k is equal to 3. And r squared is equal to 100. So therefore, we can get r is equal to 10. So our center here is negative 6, 3 and the radius of 10 units. For this one, if we transform this into such form, we can say that x minus 0 squared is equivalent to that. So that's how we get it. So h is equal to 0, k is equal to negative 9, and r squared is equal to 81. So that's, and then let's get the square root of r squared and 81, and r is equal to 9. So the center is, neg is 0, comma negative 9, and the radius is 9 units. Now this one, find the center and the radius of each of each circle. So let's start first with this one. Okay, let's do this. So this is the equation of the circle. All we need to do is to to compare it to the to the formula and get the value of h that is negative nine and get the value of k that is 4 and r squared is 81 so if we get the square root so we have the center of negative 9 comma 4 and radius of 9 now let's graph the circle now in graphing the circle we need to just find the center in the radius and this in this case the center of this is going easily that is negative 2 comma 3 and the radius is 4 so that's how we write that can see so now let's just mark the center and let's count four units one two three four and you can write the circle here okay so that's how we graph it so you can count one two three four in all direction and then use your compass to draw the circle another example so in this one, we have h is equal to negative 5, k is equal to 1, and r is equal to 3. So the center is negative 5, 1, and the radius is 3. So again, allocate negative 5, 1, and then count the radius 3 units in all direction. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then sketch the circle. Now this one is kind of different because there's a given a one point that lies on the graph on, of this circle. Now we need to find the value of y. What we did is we just used this formula and substitute the given that we have 7 and y. Now 7 minus 4 is 3 squared. Then y minus 2 is, this will stay the same and 25. So 3 squared would be 9. So let's subtract 9 both sides. So y, square, y minus 2 squared is equal to 25 minus 9. That is y minus 2 squared is equal to 16. Now to single out, to eliminate this squared, we need to get the square root of both sides. So that cancels that out. So y minus 2 is equal to square root of 16 is positive negative 4. Now let's transpose negative 2 on the other side. And we have positive negative 4 plus 2. So that gives us y is equal to, let's separate this positive negative. So y is equal to 4 plus 2 and y oh no, let me let me correct this. y is equal to 4 plus 2 and y is equal to negative 4 plus 2. So the correct answer here is y is equal to 6 and y is equal to negative 2. So these are the values of y. It could be 6 or negative 2. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial 
uh, for more problems about circles, let's con continue to watch my next videos on equation of the circle. So that's so that is all for now, and bye and thank you.